Friday. What would our last ride be without one more bureaucratic shampoo? Don't worry, Boo Boo. Sano solved his problem. You have accomplished so much. You have come so far. Now you're so successful. Don't forget well dressed. Yes, I'm well dressed. I am so very proud of you. Thanks, Leslie. I'm proud of me too. Nice crewman, buddy. Uh, the gentleman by the bar there sent me over this glass of wine. And here's the business card. Okay. So, as you all know, Tom's Bistro has been presented with a huge expansion opportunity. I don't want to make it a team until I hear from my senior advisory board. So, is this a good idea? You're no. Accounting nerd. I'm not congressman, Tom. Can you at least call me Ben? No can do, accounting nerd. We all knew you before you were a big shot. Let's keep the wine to a minimum. Well, there are always going to be risks when you open new restaurants, but you've done your homework. All the numbers line up. Side note, I would and strongly recommend adding calzones to the menu. The worst. Ron? Well, it's a bold capitalistic gambit, son. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Regal Meagle? Real estate is pretty cheap right now. If you're going to do it, this is a good time. Okay, I'm doing it. Over the next five years, there's going to be 20 Tom T shows across America. Look out, world. Tommy's about to blow it. And you know what he did? Not in a good way. He lost everything. Today, Tom Haberfoot is broke. Yes. And you're a good swag. Tommy, you better stop watching this. I can't tear myself away. It's a whole documentary about my failures. But you made! I had to. I have to remember every tiny awful aspect. I lost everything. You see? The franchise, Fuck. most of my money. I had so much pocket square collection. Oh, where are people's eyes going to be drawn to? Look, you're kind of tough to break. Stock market tank, credit dried up. Who could have predicted that the country would run out of beef? You just gotta move on. Oh, no. I thought about the past, but it was because I did something reckless. This time, I was smart and careful, and I still went broke. What would I do to that? So you and I are gonna be fine, and you'll come up with a new idea. You always do. So what started? An entertainment center. Failed in four months. I opened a clothing rental store. I built Restaurant Empire. They all failed. But the story of America isn't about second or third chance. It's about fourth, fifth, sixth, twentieth, fiftieth chance. Oh. That's how long it took me to get where I am today. Best selling author of Failure, an American success story. You know if you've read the book, I've outlined seven different types of success for people. You can be an Andy, an Adrian, a Ben, a Leslie, a Ron, a Donna, but my personal favorite, a Don. But what do we definitely not want to be? Gary. That's right. Do not be a Gary. He's talking about me. Hey! Hey! Thanks so much for coming, guys! Are you kidding? Tom, it's incredible! Best selling book, a Glory oh, yeah. City Tour. Well, I didn't know that. The book's called Failure. I don't know how to take that. I'm serious. You guys have always supported me. Here, I'm sorry. Thank you, Adrian. When I think of success, I think of you. You are a true inspiration to me. I love you. I'll never be. Oh, sorry, I thought you could take Here's yours. Best wishes. I mean, everywhere I go. Microwave MTL for the percent shot. Are we gonna fix the swing? A hold a public forum? Have a rally? Smack that door and do some looting? Actually, I think there's some people who need the help of the most powerful man in town. Microwave power levels 5%. Yeah.
serve the people of Pawnee, Indiana. As president of city council, I, Councilwoman Brandi Mack, star of more than 11,000 events in the last two years, officially declare Gary Gurdich mayor of Pawnee, Indiana for the fourth time. Thank you, Pawnee. Hey, great. Gary Gurdich, you are now mayor again for the tenth time. Proving conclusively that in these corporate states of America, it's the entrenched powers who hold all the cards. Thank you, Councilman Morris. Thank you, Bonnie. Happy birthday, my sweet, sweet cousin. We all love you so much. I have had the perfect life. I have had the perfect marriage. The perfect children. And the perfect grandchildren. And great grandchildren. <laughs> and I just want you to know how much I love. Okay, come on, everybody, say, Gurdich! Gurdich! Mayor Gary Gurdich died peacefully in his sleep on his 100th birthday, holding the hand of his beloved wife. Gail, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. He will now be given the Indiana Notary Society's highest honor, the 21 stamp suit. Rest in peace, Father. They discovered his name on the tombstone. UAV ready for tasking. Shit on. 